Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, make your own patterns for GIMP and then uh, how to save them. So, uh, and you'll notice down at the bottom that I made myself a. I, uh, actually, I did not make it. I downloaded this doc from Rocket Doc. And uh, you can just search that on Google, Rocket Doc, and you can download it for free. And it's pretty high tech. So if you bounce it, like bounces. I, I love that effect. And, um,. So let's open up GIMP, and uh, this is completely free. The GIMP and this. So go Linux. Sorry. All right, and um, waiting for it to load. And I changed my background, by the way. All right. So uh, once uh, we're going to be creating a pattern, and uh, so what patterns are are uh, images that repeat over and over again that you can uh, uh, write onto an image over and over again. So like this j leopard, um, if you click your clone stamp tool and click pattern, you can just draw on an image this pattern over and over again, wherever you want. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're going to make a new image, and we're going to make it uh, 88 by 88, and uh, click OK. Uh, and uh, we're going to make a pattern, and uh, there's actually patterns that come with GIMP that you do not know about and are not in your palette. Um, so you're going to go to filters, uh, render, pattern. And there's all these. And I'm just going to click checkerboard. And um, you can lower the size or make it bigger. I actually like that. 15. And click OK. There you go. So you now have a pattern. OK. Alright, so now you're going to go to File, Save As, and um, let's see, you're going to save it as Checkerboard, and you're going to go to Select File Type, and go down here, and there's GIMP Pattern, so you click on that, and it's .pat, and uh, I went in put this under desktop because we were saving it to our desktop and I'm going to show you where to put it after that uh, later and you're going to click save and description just uh, say um, checker check uh, how you spell this um, checker board pattern and click save and there you go, it's saved. And um, I actually, I don't know why that's here. Okay, so um, <coughs> uh, we don't really need this anymore. Okay, so uh, we have this pattern right here. And uh, where are we going to put it? We're going to put it in our GIM folder. And so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to, um, you're going to go to my computer and you're going to click on your uh, OS or, um, for uh, Windows and um, for uh, Mac it's just uh, your Mac it's um, your C drive it's basically the hardware what's what the computer is and so you're going to go to program files and you're going to scroll down over to GIMP 2.0 then you're going to click share GIMP 2.0 and then you're going to go to patterns and you're just gonna drag and put it there and click continue and you have to be the administrator for this click continue you just have to be the administrator for this Just and if you don't you, you just get permission and it's put into there and I did not spell that right but whatever who cares alright so um yeah uh thanks for watching uh, this tutorial I'm gonna exit out of that and um, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And uh, I forgot to say this. Uh, don't go uh, watch this. Probably say that there is more time to this. But anyway. So uh, now what you're going to do is exit out. And you have to restart GIMP. And uh, let it restart. You like my uh, new wallpaper? I like it a lot. Um, there's a boa. Uh, monkey um uh ah!
repair it. Alright, whatever. Alright, um, so, repair it, uh, koala, and some other creature, I don't know, alright. Anyway, alright, so, uh, now if you look into your patterns, you have a new pattern. Where did it go? Right here. Oh my goodness, a checkerboard pattern. And if you write that on a new pattern, and if you go to patterns and you click pattern, oh my goodness, look, a pattern. Whoa. And you created that so you can pat yourself on the back knowing that uh, you helped the world create checkerboard patterns. <coughs> yeah. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.